Okie dokies. Guys, I am here with um, the early access of wild season. Super excited. Super duper 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 excited for this. I've been looking out for this for a while. Um, so... I haven't actually looked that much into it, so... I don't actually know much of anything aside from the fact that I can be a girl or a boy and I can marry a girl or a boy. Yeah, like, I could have a lesbian lover if I so wish. So, um, like, that's... Oh, and the fact that it's like Harvest Moon and I'm a farmer and stuff, but... If you hadn't guessed that by the background, then... You clearly have never played a Harvest Moon game, I would like to think. Anyway! So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Start, um, I'm gonna start a new game. Played it yet? Okay, any key to continue. Click. Hi, welcome to Wild Season. Enter? Enter, okay. Whew. Uh, before you get started with your quaint. I should give her a name. Before you get started with your quaint farming adventure, I'm gonna get you set up, alright? Let's see here. Nope, don't know a lick about ya. Alrighty then. I guess we gotta go through the whole thing. Did her name change to Hayes halfway through and then back to Joan? I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask you just a few questions and then I'll get you on your way, okay? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, name. Uh, well, my name's gonna be... I went to click on it because I'm used to typing things in like that in Harvest Moon, but no, I have to type it in now. Uh, sushi! That's my name. My name will be Sushi, because I like that name, because I'm a sad person. Oh, Sushi. Oh, I need a last name. Um, <laughs> sushi. I'm just, I'm just lost. Sushi, uh... uh well the, I know this game is probably gonna, like, they're gonna release an update and my character's gonna be gone anyway, so I don't need to think that hard about a name. Okay, character creation, why are you so hard? Um, sushi, um... <laughs> I love last names that end in Maru. I don't know why. I'm a sad person. Sushi Nekomaru. Yep, that's, that's a great name. Clap, clap. Clap, clap for Miss Sushi here. <sighs> uh, very feminine, right? Yeah. I'm picking my gender there, I can tell. Yeah, very pretty. Pretty girl, pretty name. Oh, thanks! I know, right? Oh, is this going to be character creation Animal Crossing style? So, when's your birthday? Uh, spring? Good. Spring? Yes. Uh, 10? Because my birthday's September 10 and I'm in the Southern Hemisphere. That makes it a spring month on the 10th. That's how I always pick my birthday in Harvest Moon games. So, oh, uh, my blood type, um, O. Yep, I, I am an O type, so we'll go with that. I don't know why it's asking me my blood type. Okay, first, there's like the first for everything. Games never ask me what my blood type is before. So, how does it look? No, she's adorable. Well, I presume I get to name my farm later. Oh, looks like everything's in order. Again, welcome to Wild Season. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Oh, and Sushi? Be careful. What? What? I just, I'm just here to farm. That's the 
the male character. I'm a girl. I think I've got the wrong cutscene. No skeptical, you spend your life savings a sort of journey. You head south, excited for the journey ahead. Well, that's nice. I bought a farm. Bit of a stormy night, but she'll be right. Oh, don't speed in the rain. You're gonna hurt. See, you, you hurt yourself. I keep telling you, I'm a girl, not a boy. Bedford Valley. What an interesting name for the town. Okay, enter. Ah. It just jumped. Okay. Uh, is it W A S D? Oh no, I can't move yet. Haha. <laughs> You've more grandma. It's some sort of inn. You should head downstairs. It is wazzed to move. Wazzed. Wazzed. No, I'm gonna explore shit. Enter. I wanna look in people's things. Clicking does nothing. Hang on, just a minute there I thought spacebar made me run. I'm not sure how to run. I'm not sure how to do anything. Oh I can also use I can use WASD or the arrows to move. That's good. I can move in two different ways, but I don't know how to do anything else. Hopefully it's spacebar to talk to people. That would be good. No, I wanted to go through the other door. Oh, she's angry. I don't like her. She won't be my lesbian lover. I uh, bet that's the mayor. Dear! Good morning, old sport. I'm surprised to see you awake. Are you sure you should be walking around already? You took quite the tumble last night. Edward found your car up against a tree, dear. The roads around here are dangerous regardless, but a storm as well. Why, it's a miracle you're with us at all. Your name is Sushi Nakamaru, right, dear? <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to startle you. When the doctor came to check up on you, he needed your name for his records. We had to get your ID out of your wallet. Surely you don't mind, what, with the circumstances. Her voice got slowly more and more weird. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Bleh. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves, dear. Oh, they're married? What an awkward couple. Oh, yes, of course. I'm Rosalind Underhill, and this is my husband, the mayor. Oh, I was right. I was right. High five. High five me through the screen, guys. Bam. Do you know where you are, old sport? I think so. Well, let's see if you're thinking right, shall we? This is Bedford Valley, a quiet town nestled in the southeast of Mount Monroe and home to a nice but humble port. The Underhills have served as mayor here for many generations, so rest assured you're in good hands. We'll have you up and going in no time. Ah, uh, yes, we have great hospitality, but you know city folk? A few days out in the country and they want to get home as quickly as they can. Oh, she, she looks fancy. Um, excuse me, Miss Underhill, Mr. Mayor? Oh, Miss Nagmaru. Hi there, glad to see you're, uh, feeling better. Mr. Mayor, I figured out what you needed. Ah, yes, oh, of course. Old sport, this young lady here is Alice Brandt. She works for a law firm in the city, but has come back to town recently to help out with a few things. It seems I might have to step out. There's no need, dear. Why don't you, you in, why don't you instead go with Sushi and get the poor thing a glass of water? She must be absolutely parched. I'm sure I can handle whatever Miss Brandt needs from you. Ah, yes, of course, dear. Come with me, Sushi. We should get something in that stomach of yours. Somebody just messaged me on Facebook. As I was saying, your car is in bad need of repair. Hmm. We 
took it to a reputable man one town over, and in his honest opinion, he feels the work is must to the work needed is too much to justify the price. Now, part of it, this is the town's fault for the faulty road, and as such, ahem. Darling, could you come over here for just one moment? Ah, yes, of course, dear. Oh no, they're talking about me. They're talking about me. Sushi, I'm afraid we must ask you a somewhat difficult question. When we were going through your belongings, to find your ID, of course. Ah, yes, of course, to find your ID. Where we uh, came across something rather peculiar. You see, old sport, this is the deed for an old farm here in Bedford Valley, and... And for some reason you're listed as the property's owner. Miss Nekamaru, how did you happen upon this document? The realtor gave it to me when I... saw in the paperback. When I bought the farm yesterday. Realtor gave it to me. Realtor? Why would a realtor? She is saying she bought the farm, dear. Bought the farm? You bought the farm? There's been some sort of mistake. <laughs> Forgive my husband. He's simply confused about the series of events that brought you here. You see, dear, the price of the piece of property you purchased, it wasn't for sale. It is true that the property has not been lived on for quite some time. However, the previous owner explicitly stated that the farm should be given to the district after a year's absence. That person passed away last fall, meaning the property has only been vacated for a little under two seasons now. Which means that no one currently alive could have possibly listed this property. Do you understand what I'm saving? What I'm saying? Mm, that that a ghost listed the farm? The supernatural does not exist, Miss Nekomaru. However, I understand how you came to that conclusion, even jokingly. This deed, the deed, it's not a forgery, and money indeed exchanged hands for it. The farm, it's yours. Now, Sutri, it's not that we're upset that you brought, bought the farm, old sport. It's just disconcerting. Yes, disconcerting. That's exactly the word I was looking for. Disconcerting. You see, the farm, it's well... Darling. Oh, where's my thing gone? Darling, perhaps sewing Susie her new property will be much more informative than simply describing it to her. Ah, yes, you're right, dear, as always. Let's go take a look at it, then. Though you might not like what you see. I love farms. It doesn't look like a shabby, run-down little, like, shithole. Because that's what all my farms look like when, before I start. It's not got a single space of free land. Oh... Oh, this is an absolute wreck. As you can see, the property hasn't been lived on for quite some time. The previous owner passed a little over two seasons ago, as Miss Brant mentioned, but they acquired the property through inheritance, so it hasn't been lived on for maybe ten years? Oh, I was talking with the wrong voice. More like fifteen, dear. Fifteen? We took Linda's kindergarten pictures the last year the fields were harvested, remember? Ah, yes, of course, dear. Fifteen. Hmm. Well, well, why don't you take a look around? Get a feel for the place, as they say. Surely something must be salvageable, dear. I couldn't even imagine if you turned out the money you in that you invested in a money pit of all things. Don't mind us. Take your time. Is time passing? I don't believe so. What is this? Oh. Well, I have my hand and what I don't have in my hands? I don't know. Is this a 
barn. 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 I want to explore. No one seems to have even bothered to clean in here. Well, why would they? No one lives here. There's a lingering sh smell you're not sure you can ever get out. Don't worry, it'll be covered by the smell of cow turds. Oh, chicken, chicken poo then. Can I, can I, can I, how do I, how do I talk to things? I want things to happen. How do I run? Shift! Shift makes me run! Shift. But I have to press it after I've turned. Okay. Ooh, is this a bit of field that's free? That's cool, I suppose. Why do sometimes little bits show up? I'm not sure. It's like, it's not like I've... Oh, it's the top left square of the things. I'm not sure. I think that's glitching out a little bit. Stack of woods. I don't like how they've done that. Like, I w that should just be another straight one in my opinion. It would just... I like organisation. Maybe that's where my barn goes? I don't know. Can I pick anything up? I'm not sure how to do anything. I'm going to run into this log. Hmm. Run, 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 run. Got lots of pretty flowers around my farm. <coughs> Runny is a bit laggy and annoying. Can I set it to automatically run? Because I would rather it... Ooh! What does it say? Uh, Dear sign, I wish to speak to you. I don't know. If I run into it, maybe it will respond to me. What's down here? Everything looks well taken care of past this point, meaning it's probably not your property. Cool. This is my barn. Yeah, that must be this m up here. Must be the spot where the pregnant moo-moos go. I presume the stable. Ah, so it's for a horsey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, okay, so that's where the horsey goes. I need to learn to. I need to learn to ride my horse and be financially stable. You should probably get a horse later. Good work, game instruction. I wonder if I have like bills or something in this game. Considering I have to be financially stable. Because otherwise, like, financially stable is pretty straightforward in a half smith. It annoys me that I have to hit shift every time I turn. I have to hit shift every time I turn! So this is my barn. Have I finally found my barn where my moomoos go? Yeah. Oh, I got a shipping bin! Ship. Bing bang in my moo moo place. Small herd. Never spruced up a barn, but it can't be that hard, right? Good. And that's where the pregnant moo moo goes. Right? No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, love. Where's our shipping bin? We got a well. Where is our shipping bin? <gasps> What's that? Oh, I can't get to it. That must be a shipping bin. I would presume. I would like to be able to talk to the signs in this mode. Oh well. Oh, let's go in here. It's my hoose! It's covered in cobwebs too, but it's still my hoose. My TV looks nice and shiny compared to everything else. My fridge looks relatively new. Yeah. Yeah, she'd be right. Hey, 
It'll be nice someday. <laughs> okay. Money pit is putting it nicely, and yet it's yours. Oh, thought makes you feel warm. Makes me warm and fuzzy inside. But what did you think? I can't wait to get started! R really That's wonderful. We're glad to hear it, aren't we, dear? Hmm? I mean, yes, yes, of course, absolutely wonderful. Your belongings are back at the inn, so perhaps we should... Oh, we can certainly ask Richard to bring those over. Dear, why don't you go show everyone around the town? around town their new neighbour. They'll be just delighted to meet her. Of course, dear. I suppose I'll give you a tour around the town then. It's a charming place. I'm sure she'll love it. Okay, so I'm just going to end this part right here before we move on. It's going to get super duper long. And I'm going to bring up the next part soon.